Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of EVE University, and this is episode 2 of my video tutorial series, How to Survive EVE Online. When the Incarna expansion was released, Crowd Control Productions completely redid the first few tutorial missions, and the built-in game tutorials that you're going to start seeing soon actually have their own in-game voiceovers. Uh, it's a significant improvement in the new player experience, so when the built-in in-game tutorials start speaking to you, I'm going to shut up so that you can listen to them. Uh, here I've started the episode at the last step of the character creation process. I redid my character just a little bit while waiting for this video to process. So click the finalize button and the game will take you uh, into a station. Here we are. Welcome to your new life. My name is Aura. I have been installed via neural visual uplinks and embedded within your neocortex. I will always be here. My primary role is to assist whenever you need me. The tutorial window can be moved by just left clicking and dragging the title section and you can also click and drag the edges of the tutorial window uh, to resize it. They do have a certain minimum size uh, and I like to have the station services in the lower right corner. Go ahead and click next. I'm communicating to you now through the Neocom. This interface allows you to interact with a range of services and menus. Let me know when you are ready to continue. Click next again. You can review any of these tutorials again at any time. So yeah, that's just basically... The Neocom is typically refers to the interface bar on the left side of the screen. Though you can right-click on it and align it to the right side of the screen instead. I like to keep it on the left. Uh, what Aura is referring to is the Help button and you go to the Tutorials tab, and all of these initial tutorials will appear under A New Life, Your First Days. By the way, on a... at least on a Macintosh, not sure about Windows, the jukebox skips tracks in the middle. So the jukebox has been broken for some time, it tends to annoy me. So I typically pause it, and I set the music volume to zero. And let's get the jukebox out of the way. But anyway, the tutorials you can access under here, A New Life, Your First Days. But for now, let's close this and click Next. Good. The neural uplink appears to be functioning. Now that your original body has been euthanized without complications, you are ready to begin training as a capsule pilot. First, you should get used to your new clone. Euthanized? Ew. Anyway, click Next. Take a moment to walk around your captain's quarters. I'll run a few last-minute tests on your basic motor functions while you stretch your legs. By the way, let's first fix the camera. So push Escape and go to the Display and Graphics tab. That's the upper leftmost tab. And here where it says Camera Center, let's drag this slider to the middle. There we go. That's much better. Uh, by the way, a number of players have complained that the captain's quarters is a lot more graphics, a lot more intensive on their graphics cards than the outside of a station. So some players have been complaining about that. If you find that your graphics card is trying to cool, is running a lot harder than it really should, you can click load station environment here. And the next time you dock in a station, or the next time you start up your client, you will just have a static window instead. For this tutorial, I'm going to leave that on. Oh, camera shake. I like to turn that off because that annoys me. But anyway, let's close the window. Now inside the captain's quarters, you can double left click a spot on the floor, and your character will walk to it. Alternately, you can hold down the left mouse button 
and use the WASD keys. There you are in the mirror. And I'm basically just holding down the W key and left clicking and dragging all over the place. Or you can let go of everything then just double left click again. And you can left click and drag to turn the camera around your character. Let's go ahead and click next. And the game has also told you about left clicking and dragging and using a scroll wheel. By the way, uh, to make sure you zoom your camera in and out, you may need to click once on the background to make sure the background has focus. If you left click once inside the tutorial window and then use the scroll wheel, the tutorial window has focus and that moves the slider bar up and down. Left click in the guest list, that's the list of other players in station with you, and this list has focus. You're the scroll wheel now just scrolls through that instead. You can tell that this has focus because there's a white rim right at the around the list. Left click off in the background and you'll notice that the white rectangle disappears. It's very subtle. Let's click next. You are now being provided with a skill book. The ability to learn by direct cerebral augmentation is one of a capsuleer's most important abilities. Your brain has been modified to allow for the direct injections of skill books which will remap your neural structure to accommodate new ideas, experience, and knowledge. Locate the skill book in your item hanger. The Neocom allows you to access the station's item hanger from your captain's quarters. And the game helpfully points out the button to you, so just left click on it. And I like to drag this over here and make it a little bit bigger. Let's click next. Access your skill queue to begin training. This is where you manage skill training. You left click on the character sheet button. And let's get this out of the way. Click next. Uh, once inside character sheet, you can find your skills in the skills tab. It should already be viewable now. Yes, indeed. You can left click any of these headers to show or hide that category. Uh, by the way, something you may want to do at some point is go to the Settings tab and click Show All Skills and then back up to the Skills tab. You can then look at a complete list of all of the skills that exist in the game. Every single one of them, whether or not you can inject the skill right now. So a red X means you don't meet the prerequisites. A, a green check mark means you do meet the prerequisites or there are no prerequisites. And anything else indicates that you've already got the skill. It's worth pointing out that in most other MMOs your character becomes more powerful by killing monsters and gaining experience points. And when you get enough experience points you level up and you gain new abilities. Not so in EVE Online. Uh, by the way, I don't know if the in-game tutorial told us to inject the skill book yet. We have a skill book, but we but what you need to actually inject it. So right click on the skill book and you can select inject skill. That includes that skill into the list of skills that you now know. Let's open the skill queue by clicking this button. And I like to merge the training queue with the character sheet. So left click and drag the title bar of the training queue and move it over the character sheet title bar until it glows and let go. And let's left click once on mechanic. So there's repair systems, that's the skill book we just injected. If you started off as Minmatar or Kaldari, it probably gave you a different skill book, since you're probably going to be shield tanking rather than armor tanking. The difference will be explained later. Let's click next. Add the skill to the queue now. You can schedule 24 hours worth of training. Remember, skills train in real time, so you should always have a skill in training. That is a very important concept. It bears repeating. These skills, you just left click and drag from the skill book over to here, and you can keep doing that again and again. And click apply, and I'll explain why you did that. So the way you become more powerful, the way you gain new abilities, is by injecting skill books and then adding the skill book to your training queue. 
Now, you drug it over once to get level 1 queued up, and then you drug it over two more times to get level 2 and level 3 queued up. One reason you're going to want multiple levels of a skill is because it provides more benefit. For example, the repair system skill gives you a 5% reduction in the repair system's duration per skill level. In other words, armor repair modules will work faster the more levels you have in repair systems. Additionally, uh, a more advanced version of the repair modules called Tech 2 will require that you have repair systems, I believe, level 4. Once you get level 1 trained up, uh, you can use the Tech 1 version. Again, skills train in the background. So skills train while you're in station, while you're in space, while you're logged off. So let's throw in Galente Frigate level 3 and Galente Frigate level 4, just so that we have a lot of stuff in the skill queue, just in case you suddenly have to stop playing uh, and have to come back tomorrow or the day after. That way, that's not wasted time. Skills have been training while you've been away from the game. Remember to click the Apply button. You're ready to begin the pilot certification course. This course covers navigational basics, in-space piloting, combat, and interstellar travel. When you're ready to begin your certification, speak to me through the agent panel. I've probably been talking enough for one episode, so I'm going to stop here. Uh, remember that you uh, always want to keep skills in training at all times. For the rest of the tutorial series, uh, you will see me adding skills to the queue. I can't film all of these episodes one right after the other right after the other, so there will be uh, points during the series where I, where I had to stop recording for the night. So one moment I'll have just started a 10 hour long skill train, and when I start the next episode, it's actually the next real day for me because that's when I resumed recording, and that 10 hour skill will have finished while I was sleeping. So if you suddenly see me uh, have a lot of whole lot more skill training having been done from one episode to the next, well, that's why. In the meantime, thank you for watching.